Hey guys, I wanted to make this video all about the little years. I have been making videos for about five years now, so if you go way back to my first videos, I'm sure you'll catch a glimpse of my kids when they were little, little, and how they've grown up kind of on YouTube, which is so crazy. Of course, I tried to film back then while they were napping, but that didn't always happen. So there are a few videos of them running around or Joelle on my lap as a baby, and it's just crazy to see how much they've changed through the last five years. So for those of you that are new, my name is Alana, and my channel is all about marriage, homemaking, healthy living, and homeschooling. So please subscribe. So I got pregnant with my first child when I was 26. We had been married three and a half years. Our plan was to wait five years. And back then, before I knew what I know now, I was on the pill. And we lost my pill pack in my friend's car at the end of a weekend getaway with them. So when we lost it and she couldn't find it, we were like, eh, we'll just try to start getting pregnant or start trying to get pregnant. And that's how we decided to have kids <laughs> and we succeeded the first month so I was pregnant at 26 we took a trip to Puerto Rico when I was six weeks pregnant and um, I worked a full-time job when I was pregnant and I quit really soon into my pregnancy and worked as a nanny full-time until the day I gave birth so it was a pretty pretty nice pregnancy it was very healthy I was very um, I felt fine you know and my job was not difficult it was fun and I had opportunities to rest throughout the day which was great as soon as uh, I had my son I came home full-time and when he was nine months I found out I was pregnant again that one was not as strategically planned that was the best surprise of our life at the time I didn't know it I cried I was shocked Hector was shocked it was hard but the reasons were silly um, you know we thought how are we gonna love another child as much as we love our first the idea of dividing our love you just don't know as a parent of only one child but oh my goodness what a silly thought as soon as that baby was born and now of course you know he's almost seven I could not imagine life without my little Joel. he is a treasure to me so it's so wonderful how the Lord just grows your heart and you love your children each for different reasons in different ways and they're just wonderful to you and you have special relationships with each one um, and it's just so so wonderful of God to do that so of course uh, that fear and that anxiety went away pretty quickly I had another great pregnancy and labor and before you knew it I was the mother of two under two both in diapers the first one was an awesome napper and sleeper the second one was a horrible napper and sleeper so it would have been nice the other way around so with the first one I was fairly well rested um, of course I was up at night like any new mom of course I was tired and, and drained and couldn't juggle everything survival mode but he napped and there was nobody else to take care of so I would nap with him during the day and then the second one came around and he decided that he was not going to nap <laughs> or sleep at night he would just stare at me all night long and I talk more about this um, in more detail about this in my baby wise story video so I'll post a link in the description box for that video so you can hear about that I did baby wise with my first child very loosely though and I did not do baby wise with my second child but I also didn't go to the extreme of, of attachment parenting I fell somewhere in the middle but like I said check out that video for more detail on that and feel free to ask me any questions about it so things that I feel like I did well um, during the little little years the baby years um, 
<clears throat> and you can't feel guilty about this if you do struggle with the blues and um, just not really being that happy about your situation. Have grace on yourself. There are a lot of hormones that come with being pregnant and then a millisecond later not being pregnant. Your body's going crazy, okay? And then nursing and then milk um, decreasing and then weaning, all of that is hormonal insanity. So your emotions are going to be affected by that. So when you hear me say that I didn't have the blues and <clears throat> in the middle of the night when I was nursing, I was so happy and it was wonderful to me and I loved that time spent one-on-one -on -one with my baby if you don't feel that way don't feel guilty um, my hormones didn't affect me in that way but trust me they affected me in other ways I was so invested and I'm glad about how invested I was I'm glad about the joy I found in being a mother and in wanting to care for my children but I kind of lost myself. I, my identity became mom, <clears throat> changing diapers, feeding, making baby food, which I needed to do that anyway, of course. It's not like if my identity had not become that, I would not have been doing those things. Yes, I would have been doing those things. So I think cherishing the children and enjoying that season of my life and just soaking it up, I did that well. But what I did not do well, and I see other moms doing it well, was I completely forgot about myself. And there is a way to pour into your family, cherish your family, do everything you need to do to take care of them, but still like remember who you are, you know? I remember bawling, and this was hormonal, and I talk about this in my how I lost my identity video, which I'll post the link to that as well. Let me write it down so I don't forget. Baby wise and lost identity video. <clears throat> but I just, I couldn't remember like what music I liked. I couldn't remember what I would do if I had time to myself. And that's all like mothers of little, little kids stuff, you know, but it goes, it passes, you guys, it passes. It really, really does pass. And <clears throat> it is a time, I'm sorry, I keep clearing my throat. It's first thing in the morning and I'm drinking coffee with a lot of cream. Um, but it's just a time of life where you really do just change diapers all day and nurse all day and feed all day and clean up high chairs all day and bathe messy babies all day. and you know, follow your kids around to make sure they don't like drop a bookshelf on themselves. Like that's what you do all day. And it is wonderful, but it is survival. And it is, what am I doing? You know, it's all of that at the same time. And you know, of course it depends on how many kids you have, how far apart they are, all that stuff. I think that when they're really close together, it's a little bit like this, <laughs> like a little drowning happens, a little, you can't, you don't even know <laughs> what on earth is happening in your life, but you come out, you come out on the other side. And so I just want to encourage you to have grace on yourself. <laughs> To remember that the Lord says children are a gift from the Lord, a joy from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. In Psalms 137, it says that. And believe it, children are a joy from the Lord. It's just, it's, it's hard to die completely to yourself and give of yourself all day long, every single day for a very extended period of time. And of course... I still give of myself, of course, I still have to die to myself, but it looks different today than it did when they were little, you know? My children physically can do a lot more for themselves, and I know that as the years go on, as I continue to live out this life as a mother, things are going to continue to change, um, and the challenges ahead, you know, are, are scary letting go more and letting them grow up and all of that is so scary 
um, and then one day watching them go off and start their life that is petrifying and I I could cry if I talk too much about it that's like so scary but at the same time so wonderful so wonderful to see your children to invest in them to pour into them to teach them the ways of the Lord and then to watch them grow up and Lord willing adopt well decide to follow Jesus but for God to give them the faith to follow Jesus and then to watch them live a life that glorifies and honors God there is nothing nothing I pray for more in my life that my children than my children growing up to love and follow Christ all the days of their life there is nothing that matters more to me in this life there is nothing because that's eternal and everything else is not you know so have grace on yourself remind yourself of the gospel every single day remind yourself who you are in the Lord remind yourself that yes your identity your identity is in Christ you are a Christian you are a daughter of the living God that's your identity and this is what you're doing with your life right now you're being a mother pouring into these children and that's gonna look different as the years go on but your identity is Christ that's your identity and I think we lose sight of that we make our identity mommy and wife and those are wonderful things that's part of who I am I am a mother and a wife and I am proud of that and thankful for that and I embrace that but we are Christians we are daughters of the living God first and foremost and we need that reminder every day the gospel the gospel the gospel I don't want to get crazy off track but I will say there's this book I read it was called loving the little years and it's so good I will post the link to that on uh, the description box so you can check it out it's a short read it's awesome very inspiring in those little years she's got great stories she has way more kids than I do and they're hilarious it's it's awesome and I will say um, my kids were only 17 months apart and I know friends that have had them even closer together than that you guys and I know friends that have had one and then 14 months later had twins you know like there are cra <laughs> crazy cra I can't even I laugh because I, I just can't even imagine I can't imagine you have to like hire a nanny to work with you <laughs> when that happens but as much as I try to cherish and embrace and love that season I watch home videos now and I'm just like how did I do that how did I do that I barely remember you know um, it's kind of sad you know to like not have these long drawn-out memories that I thought I would have but I still have snippets that I remember very vividly I will never forget the view of nursing Ivan to sleep every nap and every bedtime I will never forget the view or the mental picture of watching it like in the mirror me huge pregnant holding Ivan dancing with this song I know the song it's a seeds family worship song just uh, dancing with him rocking him to sleep for his nap time I will never forget Joel waking up <laughs> that boy oh my goodness when he was two and three days old I will never forget his face just looking at me oh I'm getting emotional in the middle of the night and me just looking at him like go to sleep you know everybody else is asleep I'm dying to sleep can you please go to sleep and him just like you know looking at me and if I put him down he would start screaming so I had to hold him I had no choice I will never forget um, nursing my last feeding of the night like at five in the morning um, I would always I never woke Hector up to nurse because I napped during the day with the kids and I felt bad making him wake up in the middle of the night so I just let him sleep as soon as I'd hear the babies I would get up and go to their room and have this amazing red recliner with a huge snack in the middle of the night and I would just eat and nurse and then the last feeding of the night at five I would just get them and take them to the bed with me and do the laying down nursing position and I will never forget those sweet wonderful times of having the baby in the bed nursing sometimes waking up to a puddle of milk um, 
but just, uh, how wonderful, how wonderful.